guys, it's Joey for Witches of the Moon and this week's topic is called Acceptance of Our Path or Acceptance in the Mainstream. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not on camera because our neighbours are doing some renovations or something and there's drilling next door going to start any, any minute now. So we're in here because I don't want that to ruin the video and on camera we have a nice little crystal set up here with a rose quartz heart at the start surrounded by rose quartz in a circle surrounded by snow quartz in a circle with some salt and hopefully that will help promote gentle loving energies in a topic which unfortunately can get quite volatile if not approached with respect and caution. I was actually quite hesitant to even start discussing acceptance because for one reason or another it sometimes manages to turn into an attack. It's not necessarily that people mean to attack those who, of differing religious belief, it's just that people get so emotionally invested in their path that it can get quite shut off to the thoughts, feelings and opinions of other people. When talking acceptance, people often consider the acceptance of what they believe and how they feel they have not been accepted, how they feel aggression has been taken against them. And that happens. I haven't personally had too many dire situations and too many difficult situations with this topic and I don't know if that's because of the way I approach it or I've just been lucky or a combination of both. When I get to this point in my path now, I don't feel the need to defend my beliefs. Because the idea that I have to defend my beliefs is somehow tied into the idea that there could be doubt within my mind as to what I'm doing. And I do not doubt my path. I believe what I believe and that is my personal interpretation of deity, spirituality and a way of being. All the things that I have taken on myself to better myself as a human being and to try and better understand myself, the world around me and spirituality and God and Goddesshood or Source is something that I believe in my heart and I don't believe in taking that to a negative place neither in my belief system nor by attacking anybody else's belief system and nor by allowing anybody to cause fear or doubt within my mind. I've had run-ins with people and I have developed a way of perhaps dealing with it and I'll give a couple of examples because this is something I have evolved over the years. When I was early on in practicing I came up against the aggressive opinions of a young man who was very aggressive in every area of his life and it just so happened that he was an atheist and he demanded that I explain everything about everything knowing I was not yet in a position where I felt comfortable to do so. 
and I think I ended up telling him that I wasn't far enough along that I felt comfortable having any argument about what I was looking into or not. Since that point, and this, that point was um, nearly ten years ago, I set firm stock in the idea of live and let live. I won't tell anybody that my path is the correct one. I don't believe that one one path could possibly work for everybody and it is a personal interpretation of what spirituality is. I have a set of beliefs which mean that I was drawn to a path which was for me about balance about fairness, about exploring and taking on the personal responsibility for my path. It was looking for a relationship of balance within the inverted commas gender of spirituality, of finding something which balanced male and female energies and that for me is always going to be what I believe. Now I've had people on both sides come to me and say that they do not believe that godhood is balanced. I've had people come tell me they believe it is solely male and people that they believe it is solely female. I've had both opinions. Um, my response to that is each to their own but that's not what I believe and I'm not going to change who I am on the words of another person's belief and this is something we have to do for acceptance we have to be the example that we we wish to see that's true in nearly every form of life there is we cannot preach about what we believe because that leads to hostility Hostility is not within keeping of what a religion, which is a loaded word in itself, or a spiritual path should be about. At the basis of, of every religion that I've come into contact with, there is the idea of love within it. And I think the problem of a lot of spirituality and, and love is that the message of love is forgotten and only the idea that you have to be on the correct path to feel loved is focused upon. The doctrine becomes more important than the message and I, can, I, I have an issue with that um, but I cannot tell a, another person another human being, another soul, that they are wrong in what they believe because they are experiencing spirituality for themselves. They are on their path, they are on their way of walking, they are on their journey. And it is not up to me as a human being who is fallible and flawed to tell them, another human being, that they are wrong. It's not my place. I don't get to judge them. And there is far too much judgment, bias and hatred in the world as it is without me adding to that. I have to be very careful in how I portray what I am believing. This is why you will not hear me encouraging the use of, say, magic in a negative form. I do not believe in the attacking of another human being because that goes against get people being able to accept whom we are. Now, 
The problem is, of course, that human beings are fallible no matter what path they walk in. There are going to be good people within every, within every realm of spiritual belief or non-belief and there are going to be negative people within every single spiritual path or non-belief path. The problem arises when the focus of a religion's worth or a spiritual path's worth is based solely on the negative individuals who promote a negative uh, influence within that path so we believe only the negative stereotypes about a certain path we believe that all witches are out for self gain for selfish motivations and hexing people and and causing nasty things to happen to other individuals when in fact there are a good majority of witches who would find that very idea abhorrent and would promote the ideas of peaceful living, of living in balance with the earth, of promoting love and within nature, within spell crafting, within reactions and relationships with other people regardless of spiritual path. There are lots of witches that do not believe in harming others, hence the well-known Wiccan creed, do and uh, do and thy will, and it harm none, which is largely bandied about. And then, of course, there are individuals who will argue against it. There are some people who are, argue that no matter what you do, you're going to end up harming somebody. But I think it is not necessarily the rule, but the spirit of the idea to not be harming other people. And that's just an example within the path that I am in. In fact, most of the negative, unaccepting um, experiences I have had have actually come from people within a pagan path because these are the people that I interact with. I tend to walk away, step away from people who take a very aggressive stance on spirituality and who take a non-accepting stance on religion or belief, no matter where they're from. If there is someone within the pagan path who, for example, say they follow the Morrigan and is using the Morrigan as a attack weapon, which is something I've been discussing recently on my own channel, then I find I sort of find that dishonourable towards my goddess. I don't think divinity should be used as a weaponized tool against other human beings. I think that is to degrade spirituality and religion within itself, no matter what path you are following. Um, my goddess Morrigan will get you because I'm in with her and you are my friend, is the most school schoolgirl, schoolboy mentality playground tactics of nonsense that um, does get thrown around. Because we are human, because there is giving into ego and because there is an, a degree of fear in relation to that, that is something that we need to look at very closely if we are doing it. Is it a reaction out of pain? Quite a lot of the time it is people are in pain, people are angry, people are hurt and they lash out. And maybe they don't consider what they're doing, the wider repercussions of what they're doing, but it is a way of sort of damaging their relationship with other people, with themselves and with the divine because they are putting out a message of non-acceptance, of aggression, of hatred. And it's not all. It's not that the person is a bad person because every single human being makes mistakes, and we have to learn from those mistakes. It's just being very, very careful with the way that we portray ourselves and show ourselves, especially in the public realm, where other people are inevitably and unfortunately going to be judging whom we are as a spiritual path based on the actions of a few individuals. It's a problem. And it's a problem for 
every spiritual path that exists you know if you, you can easily identify the negative associations with nearly every single spiritual path religious path there is now if i said catholicism to you you would immediately throw up in your mind a negative image of catholicism based on media hype surrounding say priests i don't have to tell you what that negative association is you can make that link for yourself based on the unfortunate media sensationalization of key negative individuals who have committed crimes now that's not to say every single person within the catholic faith is that way inclined and it's not to say that every priest in that way is not that ugh. it's not to say that every priest in catholicism is that way inclined to hurt others and undoubtedly there are good men within the catholic priesthood and i think in the Catholic, in Catholicism, you can only be a priest if you're a man. I think you're a nun if you're a woman. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm fairly certain that's how it goes within that. And then, you know, there have been a lot of, in modern times, a lot of negative associations with Muslims. There have been a, not, a lot of associations with Christianity. And, of course, there have been a lot of negative associations within pagan paths. You don't necessarily have to follow a pagan path to be a witch, but let's just use that for simplicity's sake. It's the unfortunate reality within our world that human beings seek out the negative examples of every spiritual path. And this is true within non-spiritual paths as well. And it is true within mundane areas which have nothing to do with spirituality. There are good and bad people for simplicity's sake. There are people who do positive actions. There are people who do negative actions against others within every single walk of life. And th this goes against being able to accept spiritual paths which get a lot of rep, a uh, particularly bad rep, um, reputation that is sorry that, one, that might confuse people the, the bad rete bad reputations are built on stereotypes sort of urban myth type beliefs about what we practice what we believe and I think unfortunately it's so tied in because you do get people who believe so feverently that they cannot abide by what I abide by, which is live and let live. There is nothing wrong with believing your soul's destiny and in your heart of hearts what you believe to be right, but when you go around trying to force that down other people's necks, I think then you have the problem. That is the real problem with what goes and works against acceptance. And the only way that I can work against that is being the example that I wish to see. I will not tell a person they are wrong in their spiritual belief because I do not believe they are wrong. I believe they are walking the path that they are meant to walk. They will find their own spirituality in the way they are meant to and it's not up to me as a human being to tell another human being that they are wrong for their interpretation of divinity. As, just as much as I hope to receive respect for my spiritual path, for my way I walk, for my interpretation of divinity. And I think if we just tried much harder to live by these let live, live and let live ways of looking at things, we might have a better world overall. It's an idealistic hope, I understand that, but uh, it's trying to combat a lot of negativity and hate that goes around concerning this topic. So I'm going to leave it there for today and I hope I made some measure of sense. As I said, this can be a very volatile subject and I do not wish to cause any sort of negativity within the realms of this subject. So many blessings.